care at its workings. They remind me rather of a squad of medical men, making sure the Duchess doesn't have the slightest cough or splutter, even though she's smoking so much. The surgeons themselves are dressed in orange operating jackets. These are the super enthusiasts who handle the coal and the water and, of course, the crowds. Don't go behind, Can you cross behind the photographers, please? please, ladies and gentlemen, then you the way. way. going through this beautiful but desolate countryside that the builders of the line had only one place in mind, far away Glasgow. What I wanted to know was how much the people who lived here got from the new railway. Quite a lot. Um, local farming, for example, benefited. Um, the dairy industry, it became possible to get your milk um, collected and taken to the nearest railway station, for example, Appleby, um, and taken even on overnight trains to London. Express dairies, um, Eden Vale dairies, uh, all developed dairy farming in, in the region. Is that where the yogurt comes from? Originally, it gave a great stimulus to, to, to the local economy. Of course, we're not the only film crew out today. Almost everyone on the train seems to be producing and directing and shooting their own film. And at Appleby Station, the Duchess responds by putting on a special show for the cameras, as well as full sound effects for the microphones. Closing the settled Carlisle line could do serious damage to the Japanese photographic industry, not to mention wipe out the British anorak business. Conservationists like you, who are fighting to keep the line open now, who were probably 100 years ago be fighting to stop it being built in the first place. Oh, I've absolutely no doubt about the fact. But uh, the fact that it was built and is there and is a great piece of architecture uh, means I think we ought to make the best of it. We ought to use it. So it's, big, it's it. bigger than just a railway line. It's actually sort of part of historical heritage. I think so. It's a part of the evolution, certainly, of the landscape of the Yorkshire Dales and the, the Eden Valley. Somebody once said that the Settle to Carlisle line was nought but scenery. And this is certainly true after Appleby, when the hills retreat into a watchful distance and the line slides quietly through the Eden Valley, a land flowing with milk and yoghurt.